Okay, hello everybody. I thought I would do a quick tutorial talking about how to work with 360 footage. I have some here on the left hand side. I'm working in Premiere Pro and uh, you can use other software, I'm sure, but uh, I use Premiere and I'm going to give you guys an idea of how I go about doing this when I take footage with a 360 camera and to a normal video. Now, Let's um, let's take a look at what we've got, and I scroll through here to see that I am riding a horse. But look at this footage; it's really, really strange. We can see up top here; it's all skewed and weird, and down at the bottom it's really skewed and weird. And the shape of it essentially is an equirectangular video, and this can be interpreted as normal video, and that's what we're going to do. So. The coolest part of this is quite literally that I can take video with a camera on my helmet and it will capture everything around me as I ride. And it is really cool. I mean, this is this is everything. You know, this pathway here is the same pathway on the right. There's a new pathway over here. Got a bridge over here. But essentially this wraps around as if it was on a sphere. Okay, so, but what we want to do is we want to make it into a normal looking video. So I've already marked an in point that are going to be a good example of, of what this is. So I'm just going to drag this down to the sequence area and we can see the sequence is created down here and it makes uh, the, the exact same footage, but we don't want that. So we're going to go up to the top, sequence, sequence settings. We're going to turn off equirectangular and change this to 1920 by 1080 and hit OK. And this will make it into what is a normal video, right? We've got normal 1K footage here, but I'm not staying framed up on B. I go in and out because that's just the way 360 cameras work. So what we can do is we can take this effect called the GoPro FX reframe, drag it on. And if you don't have this, um, you can head over to uh, GoPro's website, do a search for it, and uh, depending on if you have Windows or Mac, there you go. Now, once you have that in and on, then you can open up your, in my case, this is where my effects controls are. And down here in the GoPro FX reframing, we can pick a spot that I find myself sitting just about right. I want to sit kind of here. So I'm going to hit the pan and tilt animations and I'm just going to tilt downwards just a smidge and that's going to be my starting point of where I want to be. So then I just kind of scroll through here and we just work on where I'm panned to. So I'm just going to keep myself sort of in this right hand third of the frame. Go a little more further along here and see if we fall off and just keep affecting the pan right about there and what i'm actually going to do is just zoom out a little bit too because i find that it's just a bit too zoomed in so I'm just going to put this to 80 percent and this will give me a little bit wider of a view uh which will i think gives us a bit of an appreciation of uh of the of the area and then we'll just keep on going and that's still looking pretty good that's looking good coming a little bit into the center. So I'm just going to modify this to about there. And you can make this anything you want. So at any point in time in the video, if you said to yourself, well, I'm just going to hit a, a little keyframe here. I'm going to start my video looking. Let's see. Let's, let's have it just looking forward. Let's see if I got that the right way. I'm going to cruise along. And sometimes if you find that it's really working slow just hit the one quarter quality playback resolution and that'll speed things up a little bit because it is really big footage i think it's going to spin all the way around to me and i've got the camera in my hand actually now that i remember and so i'm staying on that one third and we get to our next keyframes we stay in the third and then what i can do is I'm just going to put in one more keyframe here, come forward a little bit more, and pan over back forward. And that gives us an idea where we're going. 
uh, on our trip. And you can essentially just reframe. So here we're actually going to hang a right. So I'm going to put another keyframe in here just to remember where we are. And before we turn right, I really want it to make it over there. So let's just view that back. Just hit play. There we go. And it comes around. And just like that. And if you find that the stop is a little bit abrupt, we can right click on this one here and just put ease out. So that will that will have the camera sort of slowly ease, or sorry, hang on, not ease out, ease in. Let's change that. Uh, that'll have the camera slowly ease in. So it just slowly pans in. So that's exactly what we want to end on. And that would be the end of our clip. Just like that, with the path right pretty much in the middle. So that's how you reframe 360 footage in a nutshell. Hopefully that's helped. And I'll see you guys in the next one.